Our commitment in Qatar is to make sure that we can produce water for sustainable agriculture. Given that we come from the driest country in the world, we have no renewable water sources. And so most of our water today comes from desalination, which mostly uses fossil fuel. So we come here today to the World Water Forum with a commitment that Qatar is intending to expand the current desalination to agriculture. However, we will not be using fossil fuel. We will be using the most, the cleanest and the most renewable energy that is currently available for us in our country, which is solar power. So we commit to produce 1,800 megawatts of renewable energy to power a desalination plant of a capacity of 3.5 million cubic meters, which, will, which we will be then distributing that water to all the farmers. And the objective behind that is that once the farmers start to get that water, which is coming from the desal plant, we will then tell the farmers to stop using the aquifers. And the reason we say this is because we want our aquifers to act as our strategic water reserve in times of crisis. Today, most of our farmers use the aquifers as their the only source for getting water. And as they use that for, for the past 30 years, it, the salinity rate has been increasing, soil degradation came as a result. So we want to reverse that and we want to be food secure. So we're using food security as a catalyst to also be water secure, but we're using renewable energy to do that. There, Qatar, like many countries in the Gulf, have no, as I said earlier, there's no renewable water source, there's no rain. Uh, there is no r lakes or rivers, and our aquifers, if we, we, if we were to use them for our current economic sustenance, uh, are not going to be enough. And so the only way that we can survive is by using desalination. The question is, what is the energy that we should use for that desalination? And that is key. And so we also need to add to desalination water harvesting. Since the world pattern is changing and there is more droughts and more floods, we want to take the opportunity of capturing all these floods that we get, make sure that we can store them in, into our aquifers so our aquifers can act as a, a strategic reserve in times of crisis. But still, it will not be enough to sustain the current economies that we have developed or even to serve for our future growth. And so for many, many countries, desalination is the only way for survival. The idea is how to make that desalination sustainable and how to reduce the environmental impact of water desalination on the oceans. And these are the, the things that people need to consider. As, as, as for Qatar, we already made the decision that for agricultural purposes, we will use renewable energy as the ultimate feedstock for desalination plant and I think that is the way forward and it is important today that we have cooperation amongst countries so I'm very optimistic we have already established contacts with governments that are having similar problems to ours and we have been receiving positive signs that there is a chance of this alliance being created hopefully by the end of this year